What's going on, everybody? Jake the Happy Snake here, and welcome to episode 48 of Pokemon Trainer Jake. Last time, I permanently left Little Root Town. I went through Route 102, and then I arrived to Petalburg City. I talked to my dad for a bit, and then I met Wally. He showed me how to catch Pokemon, even though I already know how to catch Pokemon because I caught a bunch of Pokemon in Johto. So he wasted my time, and then I met Scott, who also wasted my time, and then I made it to Route 104, and I caught a couple of Pokemon there. I caught an HM Pokemon, which was a Zigzagoon, and I also caught my second team member, which is a Talo. And I gave him a nickname, which I always do for my main team members. I named him Falco. Falco here. I'm fine. After a certain Star Fox character. So yeah, he is my second team member. I was talking about in the middle of uh, the last episode about how much I like Swallow, which is the evolved form of Talo. And you know, I always like having a flying type Pokemon on my team. And I did some training with him off screen. I got him up seven levels. I caught him at level three. And here's his moveset. So he knew Peck and Growl when I caught him. And then he learned Focus Energy and Quick Attack. So he's already pretty decent. And I'm excited to... I'm excited to use him. I really am. So I've got two main team members now. Like I said, Zigzagoon is just going to be my HM Pokemon. Zigzagoon can learn a lot of HMs. So I figured that he would be a good HM Pokemon. And in this episode, I'm going to be going through Route 104, which is the route that we're in right now. And then I'm going to be attempting to go through Petalburg Woods and talk to her. Oh, no, I'm not a trainer. But that's right. If trainers lock eyes, it's a challenge to battle. If you don't want to battle, stay out of their sight. Yeah, well, sometimes that cannot be helped. So, yeah. Anyways, let's talk to this guy who's running around in the sand. Hey, kid. Leaving footprints in the sand is so fun. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, youngster Billy has a Zigzagoon, and actually, that's the same, that's the, that's the name I gave a shiny Pidgey that I found in 2013 in Soul Silver. I found a shiny Pidgey. I named him Billy, and then I transferred him down, so I can't change his name. So that's his name now. He's now a level 100 shiny Pidgeot in Omega Ruby, who I actually. Whenever I play that game, I quite often Mega evolve him into a Mega, a shiny Mega Pidgeot. And I was talking about the end of the last episode about how I found a shiny Onix in Leaf Green, which was really cool. Uh, anyways, he's got a C dot, and of course I remember that I can't switch out Pokemon. Um, I, I can't switch out Pokemon. Like they don't ask if you want to switch out Pokemon after you, you defeat a Pokemon. And great, nice getting the critical hit when I didn't need it. That's really annoying. Anyways, sand of my runners. Okay, so I'm going to put Tsunami in the front because they are now, both Tsunami and Falco are level 11. Suck to this guy. The sea, huh? I wonder what it's like at the bottom of the sea. Uh, I wonder too. I fish up a tough looking Pokemon. It has this magical quality to it. It sure looks tough. Yes, it does. And, uh, here we go. Fisherman Darren. Darian. Not Darren. Oh yeah, a tough looking Pokemon. The only other person I know who uh, refers to Magikarp as a tough looking Pokemon is Ben. Zero Xerox. Uh, okay, let's just go with Broxman. Yep. Yep. This is a complete waste of time. This is a complete waste of time because you're gonna- I'm gonna get like ten, literally 10 experience. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. I guess Rock Smash, it's only got like, what is it, 20 power? Or 30 power? I'm not even sure. Uh, let me see. I'm just gonna mouse over it. Tells me right. Forty. Okay, never mind. I'll just use tackle. Might as well. If if tsunami had last resort, then I could use that. But uh, I don't think Mudkip can learn last resort, so forget what I just said. Anyways, what the? All right. So there's another pumpkin there. Suck to this girl. This is that cottage is where Mr. Briny lives. He was once a mighty sailor who never feared the sea, however stormy. Wow. Okay, get out of my way, please. Looks like there's no berries, which is interesting. Um, I guess there wasn't any berries in Johto. There was just the Abercorns. Anyways, the next trainer. We must have we must have been fated to meet. Can I ask you for a battle? Now, in the video games, in the home video games, this trainer gives you a lot of money, but she also has full restores because she has a lot of money. So, yeah. It's fine, Tsunami has Rock Smash. I'm not too concerned about it. I don't think it's gonna be one hit, yeah. That one hit KO. But, her defense fell, which means that if she heals, then I should be able to knock her on one hit. 
Never mind, she's not gonna heal. In, in like, the, the Game Boy Advance game, she actually does heal. And it's actually different, um, I don't know, I'm trying to remember, I think that this is the way it is in Emerald, because it makes sense because I have the Emerald ROM for PokeMMO. But in Ruby and Sapphire, it's actually the guy that's down here, and then you're gonna fight the, the girl, the Cindy, whatever her name is, at the end of the Petalburg Woods. Anyways, uh, Foresight, absolutely not. Protect, absolutely not. No way. I hate when other people use Protect. I'm not gonna teach Protect to Tsunami. When I say other people, I mean computer players, because no, nobody really likes to use Protect. It's not, it's, yeah. Um, anyways, we are now in the Petalburg Woods, which is usually green. I usually see a lot of green in the Petalburg Woods, but not now, because it's fall in the game. We found a Super Potion, that's nice. And I didn't mean to go up there. And we found a Shroomish. And you know what? This is actually fantastic, because Shroomish is the Pokemon that I want to add to my team next. I didn't even have a chance to talk about this. I'm gonna use Water Gun. I didn't even have a chance to, to like, I was literally going to say, I was, I was going to say that I'm not gonna use any repels in the Petalburg Woods because I want to look for a certain Pokemon. That's what I was gonna say! But I didn't even have a chance to say that, I literally found a Shroomish the very first encounter, and I didn't even want this, like, I, I was trying to, I, I pressed up by accident, I meant to go, I meant to go down, and if I had go, gone down, this encounter wouldn't have happened, but now I'm kind of glad that it did, because, uh, yeah, I want this Pokemon on my, on my team, Tsunami is paralyzed, um, so we're gonna use Water Gun, Shroomish is using Absorb, okay, let's use, okay, seriously, Tsunami, stop getting paralyzed! Oh my gosh. I just, I'm gonna use Water Gun just once more. That's all I wanna do, is just use it once more. Thank you. Don't, don't die, please. Don't get a critical hit. Okay, that's enough. That is absolutely enough. I am using a Pokeball. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Thank you. Shroomish is a fantastic Pokemon. Uh, well, actually... He, he evolves in, into a fantastic Pokemon. Uh, Shroomish is a pure grass type, but eventually evolves into a grass and fighting type. Um, and this is the uh, Shroomish is the Pokemon that I'm. I, I was debating whether Chikorita or Shroomish, but I can't even use Chikorita, so I might as well. Like, there's no point, right? I'm just gonna go with Shroomish. So I'm gonna give him a nickname. He is level six currently. Um, I'm gonna give him a nickname. I'm gonna name him Riker, after uh, after William Riker on Star Trek The Next Generation, as well as Picard. Um, he's one of my favorite characters. I think Jonathan Frakes is a fantastic actor. And uh, I've always done this. I've always used a, a Breloom uh, in, in Emerald that I've named Riker. So that's, that's gonna be the name of the Shroomish. I'm gonna name him Riker. And um, I'm actually going to pause the recording. It won't be for you guys, it's just gonna be for me. I'm gonna pause and go do some training on Riker, get him up to like level 10 ish so he's even with the rest of my team. If you're a thief and try to steal other people, you're a thief if you try to steal other people, uh, someone else's Pokemon. You should throw Pokeballs. Hold on, let me do the emphasis again. You should throw Pokeballs only at wild Pokemon! I hate that so much. Anyways, here we have another Pokeball. Great, great. So I just basically got the one that I just used on Shroomish. I just basically just got it back. Anyways, I'm gonna go do some off-screen training really quick, but for you guys, it's literally gonna be a second because I'm just gonna edit it all together. So it's not it's not gonna really, for you guys, it won't take any time at all whatsoever. Um, so I'll be back in just a second. All right, so I did some off-screen training with Riker. I got him to level 10. He's almost level 11, and he did learn a couple of new moves, so I'm gonna show his moveset right now. So he has Tackle and Absorb, I think, and, and uh, Sun Spore. He, I think he had those three moves when I caught him, and then he learned Leech Seed, so yeah. A uh, terrible moveset to start. Um, so let's head back into the Petalburg Woods, and also I did find a potion in one of the- there's a person with a Breedling right there, that's- that's gonna be me in a few episodes, which is gonna be nice. Um, so anyways, let's, uh, yeah, let's talk to the next trainer. Yeah, I found a potion when I was, uh, doing, uh, the off-screen battles, I found a potion after, after a battle. I caught a whole bunch of Pokemon! Go, go, go! My bug Pokemon team! It's fun to do that. Anyways, but catch your Lyle. It's got a Wurmple. It is now nighttime, apparently. It's apparently it's almost 10:30 on Wednesday night, which, I mean, 
This is releasing. It's like 10 after 8 on a Saturday morning, the time of this uh, of this releasing, and I'm recording it at 12.37 on a Monday. So, yeah, the days are kind of all over the place right now. Anyways, this guy's got a bunch of Wurmples. First one goes down, Riker gets to level 11. And another Wurmple. Great. Let's just keep on going. Poison saying, please don't get poisoned. Okay, thank you. Um, now that I've caught the Shroomish that I wanted to catch in Petalburg Woods, I think I can use a Repel, but I don't know, I think I have, I think I have at least two? Maybe? I don't have any Max Repels left, it's just so on top there. Uh, poison Heal, yeah, that's not great to be poisoned at all. Um, poison Heal again, very nice. With Absorb and Poison Heal, I mean... Riker is just, he's just constantly healing himself, which is nice. A fourth Wurmple. Poison Stick again. Ha ha! <laughs> that Poison Stick was basically useless because of Poison Heal. Not voice crack. Because of Poison Heal, that Poison Stick was useless. Anyways, there we go. The fourth Wurmple goes down. You just lost to a single Shroomish. You'll have these Pokemon, but I couldn't win. I have all these Pokemon, but I couldn't win. Cut a bunch of Pokemon. I cut a bunch of Pokemon! Now I'm out of Pokeballs! Okay, that's probably annoying a lot of people if anybody's actually watching this, and I'm sorry. Um, wait, where's my bag? I'm still getting, still getting used to this again. My bag is here. Um, so I have 21 super potions. I can use these, right? Because, like, something tells me that I'm not going to be able to use them, and I, that would be that would make me very sad. I have a rare candy. Um, that would make me very, very sad. I found a bad cookie when I was doing my training as well. What does that do? Exclusive to Halloween. It restores HP when eaten. Because of the sugar rush in battle. Cause a sugar rush in battle. Interesting. What does that mean exactly? I'm not very sure. Uh, okay, I'm looking for an antidote. Do I have an antidote? Poor, uh, this is an antidote right here. Okay, so I have five of these. I'll use one. So, okay. So I, I, I can use all these items, which is really nice. That's really, really nice. I've got 27 revives. I mean, that's fantastic. I've got... We got two PP ups. I got 37 hyper potions, 21 super potions. I'm good to go, seriously. Um, but do I have any repels? Uh, which one would be repels? I don't think. I must not have any. Cosmetics? No, I must not have any repels. Okay, whatever. If I have to go buy them, I can go buy them. It's totally fine. Um. Yeah, I think they would be here, so... I don't have any. That's fine. We'll just keep going. Alright, so I found a Paralyzed Heal there. I'm just gonna cut all that out because I I, I, ran, I ran into two wild Pokemon there, and I, I mean, I'm just gonna cut it all out at once. There's no point in just keeping a two-second clip of me getting a Paralyzed Heal, so... Yeah. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna move Tsunami to the front. And... This next part... is, uh, kinda interesting. Hmm, I don't want to be found. Hey, it's this guy. Who, look, does he have a mustache? Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? It's really hard to, it's really hard to do that. I'm, I'm gonna stop doing that. Hey, look, I was going to ambush you, but you ha had to dwaddle in Petalburg once! Forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am! You, damn it, researcher! Hand over those papers. Hey! You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You gotta help me, please! Huh? What do you think you're doing? What, you're going to protect him? No one who crosses Team Aqua gets any mercy, not even a kid. Come on and battle me. Here we go. This is the first Team Aqua battle of the playthrough. He's got a Poochina. No problem. So I've got Tsunami in the front. This won't be an issue. He's got Rock Smash. You're done for. Well, that might not actually knock him out one hit. Almost. Almost, but no, but not quite. All right. There we go. The Puchina goes down. 107 experience points, perfect. And we are now over $60,000, which is awesome. I'm very happy about that. Grr, you've got some nerve meddling with Team Aqua. You came and talked to me, for, like, I, I wasn't trying to meddle. I just was trying to go up and this guy was in the way. Come on and battle me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we have Team Aqua are also after something in Rasboro. I'll let you go today. Oh, that was awful close. Thank you. Yeah, thanks to you. He didn't rob me of those important papers. I don't know. I'll give you a great ball as my thanks. Obtain the great ball. 
Didn't that team Aqua Thug say they were going after something in Resbro too? Yeah, I think so. Oh, it's a crisis! I can't even waste the time. And there he goes. So yeah, let's move on. Here's another bug uh, catcher. If you take bug Pokemon to Pokemon School, you get instantly popular. Really? I actually, when I was doing my on-screen training, I found a wild Surskit that I really wanted to catch, but I didn't. And I think that must be rare because that's the only one that I found. And I, you know, I, I leveled up Riker like six or four levels, I guess. Um, you know, I like Surskit. Surskit evolves into Masquerade. Masquerade. I mean, I have Masquerade uh, in my in my copy of Mega Ruby, and it's level 100. It's got a good boost. It's got like. Uh, it's got Ice Beam, Hydro Pump, I think? Air Slash and Bug Buzz or something? It's, it's got a good moveset for a bug type. It's the only, one of the only bug type Pokemon I'll actually use. Anyway, so now it's level 13, I can be popular if I lose. You're right about that. Anyways, got an Orin Berry. And we made it through there without uh, finding a wild Pokemon, that's great. Um, we, I would like to get through here at some point, but I can't do that right now because we need cut and I don't have cuts. If this was the remix, I would be encountering, uh, oh, what's her name? Zinnia right now, but this is not the remix, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm probably going to be using Felco quite a bit because uh, the first gym is a rock type gym. Felco is a flying type. Uh, rock types are weak to grass and water, so I might as well be using him a lot, like using Falco a lot. I like filling my, my mouth with seeds and spitting them out fast. That sounds disgusting. You can have this, so try it out. You know, Pokemon, and it will learn a move for firing speeds rapidly. We got Bullet Seed. So, I actually went way farther, well, not way farther, but I went farther than I wanted to. I wanted to end the video off here and get the, the, the TM for Bullet Seed in the next episode, but I wasn't able to do that. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end things off there. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you all back here on Wednesday for the next episode. I'm going to be uh, going through um, that route. That's route. Um, actually, I'm opening the game back up because I can't remember. It is route. Um, it's, right, it's, 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 it's route 104 still. So I'm going to be doing that in the next episode. That's going to be on Wednesday. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you back here on Wednesday. Thanks, guys. Peace out.